Hello everyone, welcome to Thrifting After Work. My name is David and today I am very excited. It is bright and early here in Las Vegas at 7 a.m. because I just found out that we have a Goodwill bins here. Um, I didn't think that we did and because we have a lot of Goodwills. We have 17 Goodwills here in Las Vegas and I was just looking through, planning on going to a new one today and I found that you have to actually go in to the website to find, but it's a Goodwill Clearance Center, which is a bin. So I am up bright and early, and I'm gonna head over there to see what I can find today. All right, so I just got here, um, and the line's not too bad. I'm here only about 10 minutes before opening, and let me uh, let me show you guys. So Goodwill Clearance Center and only about, yeah, only about like 25 people in line. So not bad for only being here five minutes before opening, but let me hop in line and we'll get this party started. All right, so I found out about halfway through that I'm not allowed to film inside. Um, so I stopped filming. You guys will see a little bit of how it looks in there, but um, I spent about an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, um, found some okay stuff. I spent uh, $16.39. I'll give you a little quick flash of what I got and then I'll go through the whole haul later and uh, let you know what I think I can make. All right, so like I said, $16.39. And I got my cart here. I got some shoes, some pots and pans, some jackets. There's some okay stuff. I definitely think I'll make some money on this. Um, but I'll talk about a little bit if I think it's worth it for the hassle and the trip and everything in there. So talk to you soon. Hey, everybody. So if you're watching the video right now, you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, I just saw the title and I just saw you walk out of the Goodwill only spending 16 bucks. What happened? So I'm going to give you a little bit of a peek behind the curtain and how I came up with the title for today's video. Um, so I've been sitting in my car for a little bit, a little bit bummed out um, because the trip was great. I mean, I, I got some great items. I spent not very much money. I'm going to make good money. And we'll go over that in a little bit. But truth be told, you know, when I got to my car, you know, I had a bit of a moment. I reached in my pocket to get all my stuff, make sure I had everything. And my AirPods were gone. Um, I had one in my ear that I was kind of listening to as I was shopping, uh, but my case and my other AirPods were nowhere to be found. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit just kind of bummed out. Um, and I went back in, I retraced my steps. I looked up and down the aisles. I asked them to make an announcement on the thing. I'm in a Goodwill bin store. Even if somebody found it and didn't pocket it or didn't try to buy it, they might have opened it up, saw there was only one in there, and they just threw it right back in one of the bins. There's no way I'm going to find it. I'm never going to get it back. And I'm sitting here with in my car with one lone Apple AirPod. Um, and like I said, it was kind of it was kind of a bummer. It kind of put a damper on the whole trip. But I realized that you know it's not the end of the world. It, it's you know a it's a you know it's a very it's a luxury item for one thing it's kind of first world problems over here um that i'm complaining about losing my 120 dollar 
headphones, you know, while going through and sorting through bins to make more money. And realistically, I, like I, we'll talk about it more at the end of the video, but I, I'm pretty sure that if I really wanted to, I could take the profits that I'm going to make today and buy another pair. I think I'm going to make that much money. Um, so, and even if that wasn't the case, it, it took me a second. I really thought like, what am I that upset for? Yeah, it sucks. You know, I'll move on. If I want to get another pair, I will. I can use an old pair of headphones. Um, and there's a lot of people going through a lot worse. So it was just a good kind of reflection to say, hey, it's not the end of the world. It's still going to be a good day. I'm I'm still going to make money off of this trip. It's going to be all right. Um, sorry, I'm noticing some flashing on the screen here for some light. So hopefully it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so I'm going to take you back. We're going to go through everything. We're going to talk about the profits. And like I said, it's still going to be a good day. We're still going to go out and make money. All right, guys. So we are back at the house. Thank you so much for sticking with me through that. Again, I know it was some ups and downs there and I appreciate you uh, kind of sticking through my pity party. And again, I hope you took away from that, that you know, really the message is things can go wrong, but it's about the mindset and how you look at them. So I am back. We got my stuff laid out. Let me show you. go through each item. I'm going to go through the item, go through what the profit's going to be. I'll pop the uh, sold comps up here for you so you can see I'm not just pulling those numbers out. I always check the sold comps to get a good idea of what I think I can make. And currently, just, just to preempt for later in the video, currently my business model um, is doing a lot of buyer paid shipping. So the profits that I'm going to go over today are going to be factoring in the buyer is going to be paying for the shipping and that's not going to be coming out of my pocket. So I'm not going to include that, but I'll include the fees and then I'll total everything up at the end. So I got a lot of great items here. The first item is going to be these three Revere Wear lids. So I got these because A, I have some pans uh, and some skillets that don't have lids, but Really, I pick them up for adding value for when I find anything without a lid. And these are going to add about $5 of value each onto an item that is missing the lid. So I'm not going to sell these just as they are, but I'm factoring that each one is going to raise the value $5 on an item that I'm going to get at some point. So $15 there is going to be the profit off these three items. Sticking with the pots and pans, I have these two Revere Wear items here. The smaller of the two did have the matching lid, which is great. Um, that's going to be about a $15 profit on this one. And then without the lid, this one's going to be about $10. Uh, again, I'm probably going to hold on to it until I either find the lid or find a few more pieces to put it together as a set. Uh, to bundle that in to increase the values. Otherwise, I would just be send, selling this for about a $10 profit there. So next up is gonna be this DreamWorks puzzle. This is sealed in the box. Uh, the only sold comp I could find for it was actually sold for $40 plus shipping. I'm gonna be a little bit conservative on this because there wasn't that many listed. There was one listed for $20 that was pre-owned and not brand new. Uh, so I'm gonna factor in about $30, just give or take, but I'm gonna stick with 30 as a conservative estimate on what this is gonna bring. Next up, just a small item here, a Star Wars Happy Meal toy. This is a Chewbacca Happy Meal toy. It's very recent, it's from the 2019 um, Star Wars release, so it's not like an old vintage Happy Meal toy. Not a lot of value on that. I grabbed it just because it was so lightweight, it cost me pennies, um, and it might have been something that would have been worth a little bit, but realistically, it's worth probably $2. I saw some for $5 free shipping, so I'll probably either just keep that or, you know, give it away as like a small, you know, gift to my kids or something. Next up, I got this Polaroid camera here. Now, this was a really great find. You saw me pick that up in the video. Uh, Polaroids are great. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't have any film to test it. The film is super expensive. I was looking up. It's 
$18 for eight pictures of Polaroid film, but some people really like these. This one right now, there's a wide range on the sold comps, but I'm gonna say about $20 is what I think I could bring in for profit on this item. Next up, I have this back massager here. It's a Liba back massager. Um, these ones, it is, I did test it, it is working, and there's again a wide range, not a lot of solds on here, um, but $20 is kind of what I'm thinking that this item would go for a few sold comps like I said up there um, to kind of back that up a little bit, but I think $20 is gonna be the profit on there. So another good pickup was these Adidas shoes. Um, you kind of got a glimpse of it before I got cut off, but the shoes, you, you only saw a piece of it, there was five bins of just all mismatched shoes. Um, and I did manage to find a pair that was together that was in good enough shape to pick up. Uh, so these ones, and they're even marked on here that in the store they would have been 15, uh, but I probably have a dollar, a dollar something into these. Uh, they're gonna bring about $20 pre-owned profit on these, uh, which is great, a great find on there. All right, and the last two items, they don't go together, but I kind of just put them together here, um, is a 2001s, which is technically now vintage, uh, because it's 20 years ago, but 2001 uh, PGA Tour fanny pack. Now, fanny packs aren't in the greatest of uh, desire right now, and I didn't find a lot as far as sold comps go on these. I did find one that sold for $10, so I'm just going to kind of feel like that might be, you know, the value of this item, $10 on there. I might sit around for a while. I'll see um, but not a, not a terrible purchase. I, you know, I took a gamble on it because I didn't know. And again, it's going to, I'll have 25 cents maybe into that item. And then the last item is this steep slopes jacket. Um, really, really good condition. And again, just for the amount that it cost me, uh, I didn't really look it up at the time and, and just kind of threw it in my cart. And the value on this is, I would say technically there, but it's not selling well. So there's, about 50 listings on eBay of these steep slopes jackets in varying colors and one sold. Um, not a good sell through rate and not what you wanna see when you pick up an item. Again, let probably this doesn't maybe weighs a, you know less than a pound, so less than a dollar into this item. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but I'll probably end up just throwing it up on Facebook Marketplace. And again, I'll probably get $20 for it, maybe 15 if I just wanna to try to get rid of it. Uh, so still, you know, 10 times my money on that item, but it is a little, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit of a bummer to see when you get back and you're looking that up and, oh, um, you know, something that looks good and it looks, got, it's got that vintage look and you think it might be doing well and there's just, it's, you know, the, the market's a little bit flooded on there and not as a much of a desirable brand that people are going to look for on eBay. All right, so let's total everything up. So all in all, I spent $16.39, as you guys saw in my receipt. Now, there was an extra item in there. You saw that kind of stick uh, that I got. That's a toy from the movie Onward. That went straight to my kids. Uh, I knew that even when I grabbed it, that it wasn't even gonna be sold. It wasn't even complete. Just a fun thing for them to you know hit each other with and play around with. So I'm taking that out of there. So I paid $16.39 for 12 items to sell. Really 13, but I'm gonna take that one out, so 12. Which means my average buy cost Per item was a dollar and 37 cents which is really really good again way better than I would do just going to a regular Goodwill um, there definitely is a hassle factor with the bins um, you know there's a lot of people it's pretty competitive people are just going and, and, and trying to grab everything that they can uh, they're constantly kind of swapping things out and you you might I, I spent about an hour and a half there and you know there are people that there that had planned their whole day that they're just going to keep going as they rotate items. Uh, this Goodwill was really good about kind of quickly rotating the whole floor. Just in my hour and a half there, they had rotated every bin into the back and out with new with new stock. So they do a good job of getting new fresh items out there. But it is uh, it, it's not for the faint of heart, and it's not for everybody. There's a lot of people in there all trying to grab the items, but if you can do what I did today, it's definitely going to be something that I'm gonna be doing from here on out. Even even the fact that I lost something there and, and it has that bad feeling in my mouth about going, um, definitely the profit's gonna be there. So my total gross profit 
on all of these items that I'm factoring in. Again, like I mentioned before, factoring out shipping because I'm probably gonna be charging shipping on most of these items or doing Facebook Marketplace or something like that where it's not gonna cost me anything. But my value on all these items gross is $162. So almost 10 times uh, what I spent, which is really, really great. An amazing profit margin and definitely worth the, the time because it was only about an hour and a half of my day uh, to make that profit on there. Now eBay fees, again, about 13% is gonna be $21.06 off of that 162, which brings me to a total net profit of $140.94. Now remember earlier I had that prediction where I, I, I just had a feeling with the items that I got that if I really wanted to, I could go out and, and replace that those AirPods that I lost because those are about $120. And I made more than that just on this trip. So again, there's there's a silver lining to everything. And you know, that's not what I'm gonna be doing. You know, that was a luxury item. I have other things I can use. Maybe down the road I'll pick up some because they are kind of convenient for work and a few other things. But really just talking about what separating that from everything. This thrifting trip, this Goodwill bins trip was definitely worth it. And I want to see really, really good profits on these items. I'm going to work on getting all these listed. Um, I've been doing some live listings. So thank you guys so much. I've been hanging out with some great people. Um, I'm going to try to go live on Mondays uh, later on in the evening Pacific time around 9 p.m. to get some live listing done. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to get all these listed and get them up for sale and try to make some profits. That's going to wrap us up today, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me on the roller coaster that was today's video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. I'm almost at 200 subscribers. I might even hit it before I get this video out. But again, I appreciate everybody's support. Like the video, comment below, all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.